I'm Brian Moran, founder of Government CIO. Welcome to Government CIO Magazine. Hello, my name is Brett McLaren. Today we're interviewing the Deputy CIO, Don Leaf, at the Department of Labor. So I would say that the Department of Labor is in an exploratory phase. Um, we do, by definition, our mission is such that we are geared toward mobile computing. Um, if you think about it, like the Mine uh, Safety Organization, for a long time they have really been focused in the field. They conduct a lot of their most important activities when there is an accident investigators are in the field, over 50% of our uh, workforce is in the field and at regional and local sites. So there's definitely a mission orientation there. And now as the tools and the technology become better, then obviously we can provide better support for our staff. I think that it's the same really as we see uh, personally, you know, in the private sector. What happens is naturally as we get technology, as we get tools, we adapt to use them. We become more efficient, we become more effective, we change our processes. And the same thing happens within the government. We learn to do things uh, better, faster, because we have more capability. So um, I look at that a couple of ways. We do, of course, uh, have a mobile strategy, a written document that defines a strategic view for what we'd like to see in terms of supporting our mission and expanding. But something that I think is often overlooked for not only mobile, but maybe cloud computing, um, anything where we're outsourcing, is you have to have a very sound and well-performing network and security infrastructure support that. So in parallel with working on that strategic aspect and thinking about the mission, we also have to shore up the infrastructure for DOL. Well, it's interesting you should ask that because right now we are conducting a 90-day feasibility assessment uh, for bring your own device policy and we're looking not only technical aspects, but at the human factors, the workforce factors, uh, very simple questions like if you have an employee who has used his or her device supporting the Department of Labor, what happens if they take a job at Commerce? How do you implement containers so that you can remove the Department of Labor data and information and still leave the person with their device intact and not be too invasive? So again, I'd say we're in an exploratory phase. Well, I think the obvious one that has been out there a long time is, of course, physical control of the device, ensuring that the data is sound, that it's encrypted. And then something that um, I think an agency or a department like ours, where you really do have a lot of staff in the field is just the simple things. Um, making sure that the device gets connected so that we can monitor and upgrade the security and thinking about a mobile device management policy and tools. We have several of our agencies who are piloting them. Um, if you again, I think all of this is driven from the mission people who are doing the job, doing the work, they know best how to use the devices. But um, I can give you a couple of examples. If we look at our investigators, we know that there are devices that are more powerful for them in terms of being able to capture video and images as well as just record data in the field. So we, we are piloting and prototyping those. Uh, if we look at parts of our organization like the solicitors, um, even that, and that's of course uh, industry-wide, is moving to a digital courtroom 
some strategies. So we, I think we're learning about how that mission can be effective at the same time that we're trying to, again, make sure that we have the infrastructure in place to support Well, this is, um, this is actually one of those um, long time uh, paradigms. This isn't new. I mean, IT has been changing for decades. And I think um, the important thing to do and, and what we're doing is you can't touch everything at once. You can't adopt every new technology at once. You can't learn everything at once. You have to choose those that are most aligned with your mission and focus your energies there. Just like with an enterprise architecture portfolio, you focus on those that will best help you. There are certain housekeeping things. Like we all know that we can improve our efficiencies with shared services. So shared services, common, whether it's HR, you know, payroll, every agency doesn't need to break new ground there. But you focus on your mission. It sounds like a broken record, but again, it's all about the mission. It's you know what actually happens for the person in the field um, who's trying to do their job, and that is really that's end user driven. I mean, we can help put the technology in place, we can help identify what's available, but um, they tell us, you know, they they tell us what they want and when they want it, and then our job is just to try to figure out how to get. So um, we know that in addition to mobile, there's that whole paradigm about outsourcing. And we're doing a lot of things in parallel, as are, I think, all agencies and all organizations. So there's getting the delivery structure in place, the network and security infrastructure. There is um, just improving our applications generally in outsourcing, and then in terms of mobility, it's focusing on those aspects that um, really that they need first. I mean, it's, it's kind of that simple. So I think there are two. Uh, one, we had and have a major uh, overall Department of Labor objective to improve the use of our IT resources by consolidating our infrastructure so that um, our IT resources with our agencies can focus on the applications and the mission. So we completed a major milestone actually just this last May, Memorial Day. We opened our consolidated data center, made our first big move there, and that was a, a significant technology accomplishment because it's basically proof of concept. We proved that we, the Department of Labor, can um, plan and execute that overall strategy and consolidate. I think the other point I would make is uh, an organization one. We have worked very hard and I think successfully to strengthen the collaboration and the partnership between the agencies, between the OCIO, we've implemented um, and strengthened the Implementation Committee, which is a cross-department planning committee. We implemented a technology um, innovation forum that's led by our chief technology officer. And I probably should have mentioned that earlier because it really helps to set the direction and set those priorities for what we want to do first as a department.